joking. I've got my fax, my computer, my printer, my fridge, my phone. I've got everything. I can communicate with anyone, anywhere. I may be out of sight, but I'm never out of mind. <laughs> Ruin my career? No. No, I don't think so. I've already got a few ideas about next month's cover of Way Out magazine. <laughs> Teacher's Guide, price £3.95, includes maps, diagrams, downloaded CD-ROM information screens, programme outlines and helpful techniques for map reading. The unit's available on video at £14.99. A colourful Fair Isle poster is also available, costing £2.95. To buy these items, please write, making cheques payable to Channel 4 Schools, PO Box 100, Warwick CV 34 6TZ or call 01926 433 In 15 minutes, Stage 2 Science, but first a chance to see some of the programmes on offer over the spring term on Channel 4 Schools. Magnificent. Wonderful. So many. So high. Just think, Etienne. We made all this possible. Let me introduce myself. I'm Joseph Montgolfier, and this is my younger brother, Etienne. How did we make all this possible? Well, we made the very first balloons that carried people into the air. Are you ready? Let's go. Go. It works! It works! <laughs> the bigger the balloons we made, the more smoke we needed to lift them up. We couldn't produce enough smoke by burning paper, so we started to burn straw. When the balloon was full of smoke, we let it go, and it soared into the air. plastic continues unabated. Bakelite, the first ever totally man-made plastic, is now being used to make radios, telephones, and light switches. <coughs> I'm sorry, sir. How can I help you? Do you have any brass bulb holders in stock? If you do, I'd like one. And they say you don't want brass, you want Bakelite. It's a wonderful new plastic. Bakelite's an electrical insulator, so no chance of electric shock. Really? That sounds truly remarkable. And that's not all. Bakelite can be moulded into all sorts of shapes. Telephone, wireless case, light switch. I think I'll have one of everything. 
I'm sure you can manage like that, sir. The program is all about mathematics and printing. Keith Shackman designs patterns that will be printed on plates and cups, saucers and teapots. Keith uses a computer to try out his designs. A computer can rotate and translate parts of the design very quickly. This is the motif, the part of the design that is repeated to build up the pattern. The motif will be repeated around the circumference of the plate to create a pattern. The motif is translated. Can you see what's wrong? What would you change? The computer can change the size of the motif to fit the circumference. Houses. Very well designed, I remember. Cool in the summer and warm in the winter. My father was a great one for tradition. Brought me up in all the old British ways. We had to learn how to spin wool and dye it, and how to weave good British cloth. Those were the arts my father had in mind for me. You take the shuttle through the threads. Don't pull it too tightly or you'll spoil the tension. And then you take the weaving comb. It's made out of a deer's antler. Maybe Dad will make you one. And then, straighten your thread. I was happy enough, but my brother wanted to leave the country and go off to the Roman town nearby. He took to wearing Roman clothes, I remember. My father was furious. Will you get out of that tunic? Put some trousers on. You're a Briton, not a Roman. Not for much longer. What? When I'm a man, I'll join the Roman army. I don't believe it. What have I done to deserve this? It's a wonderfully romantic story. Jane Eyre is much more than a love story. Jane Eyre is a tremendous love story. It's a, very, it's a very complex book which works on all sorts of different levels. The orphan girl who becomes a governess, who falls in love, hopelessly. It's improbable, and yet it's what every ordinary woman would like to happen. Jane, on the surface, is this calm and controlled person, but inside her head there are fantastic dreams and passions at work. And there is this wonderful person, and he's never going to look at me. But he does. He finds me special. And of course, the thing that made the novel so extraordinary was that we were talking about a woman. The central figure is a woman. The sense that this is an upstart woman, a mere governess, 
declaring she has much rights as anyone else to a good life, was seen as politically subversive, dangerous to the established order. Literature cannot be the business of a woman's life, and it ought not to be. Dangerous to God's given order of the class hierarchy. So from every possible angle, she was seen as subversive, which is quite something. I don't think, sir, you have the right to command me, merely because you are older than I, or because you have seen more of the world than I have. Your claim to superiority depends on the use you have made of your time and experience. Film Century looks at two versions of the spirit of Dunkirk. One from British films, which managed very quickly to turn the pictures of retreat into a story of victory. The other version of what happened at Dunkirk comes from the German side. Their cameramen were able to stay in the front line of fighting and get unique pictures of the battle. Victory in the West was made to show the power and might of Hitler's Germany. The people who made this film could use pictures of British soldiers because they had access to captured British news films. Mit dem Aufhängen der Wäsche an der Siegfried Line, wie sie den Westball nannten, wird es nun nichts mehr. Die Engländer zerstören rücksichtslos das Land ihrer ehemaligen Waffengefährten. From the British point of view, this is the horror of surrender. The life of the Chikuna is dominated by the forest. Here, a huge tree trunk has been hollowed out to make a canoe. The heat and smoke from the fire dries out the wood, but when it is warm, it can be stretched from tree shape to canoe shape. The Chikuna were one of the first Indian groups to be contacted by the Portuguese explorers who came to the Amazon area of Brazil in the 16th century. Like many Indian people, their culture has been changed a great deal by contact with the outside world. Some traditions and skills, though, have not been lost, like building dugout canoes. It's been going on in this way for centuries. The Amazon River system teems with fish. There are more freshwater fish here than all of the rest of the world together, and the Indians know how to catch them. Later that evening, the giant communal statues are carried down to the sea where a million people on Chaupati Beach bid farewell for now to their favorite god, with the hope that he will return again at the same time next year at the annual festival of Ganesh Chaturthi. At the marble temple in Bangkok, the newly initiated monks are putting on their saffron robes. In preparation for the final chanted prayers led by the abbot of the Chiang Mai Monastery, that will culminate the initiation ceremony. Tomorrow, the new novice monks will leave their homes, some for just a few months or years, others permanently, and take up residence in the monastery where Tanan lives. For them, the long spiritual journey towards nirvana and enlightenment has begun. Keep you young looking, once you lose them you get old looking. Things that... Oh. <laughs>
how you describe them, they're just in your body and they control, and they just control everything. I know there are male and female hormones, that much I know. I've never seen one though. I think a hormone is something which makes you a man or a woman. Oh, I didn't have time for hormones in my days. A hormone that's released from your body and it makes other things react. Like you have hormones that make ovums release and hormones that make sperm and hormones that make you feel randy. They affect your moods. Hormones affect your moods. Yeah. That's about all I know. <laughs> hormones create things like adrenaline. Um, hormones are like you get more sexually attracted to the opposite sex or maybe the same sex. I've heard for hormone and all that. I don't know the job or what they do. Hormones are to do with your attitude and things like that. I don't think I've any hormones left. I don't think I had a lot to begin with. <laughs> There's a free programme brochure giving details of all Channel 4 schools programmes. It has information on the resources that go with the programmes and contains an order form. To receive a copy plus a termly timetable, please call 01926 43 33 Advice on recycling now on 4, a stage 2 science looks at using it again. Did you know that when you drive along a motorway, someone may be watching you? That you may be a television star without ever knowing it? Police, have you broken down? Well, maybe not. After all, there are 22,628,107 cars and lorries in Britain. 